is up artists and movers welcome back to my channel where we are taking our love for dance to the next level and today's video is going to be a review for you guys i love trying out new dance brands i feel like us dancers we've been using the same stuff for so long and so when another company comes in and decides to be more innovative or more inclusive i am always down to give it a try so today's video is going to be a review of the apollo performance shocks and if you've seen any of my choreography videos or any of my class videos then you know that i love dancing barefoot and i love dancing in socks so i've actually been wanting to try these out and i'm excited that i get to share my thoughts with you guys in this video i'm going to go over what the shock claims to do i'm going to go over kind of my thoughts on how it feels when i'm dancing or moving around because i have been trying them out for the past five days because you know i'm down for a detailed review okay i give you guys the real tea and afterward i am going to tell you guys who i think would best benefit from these if you have been considering them but before we jump into this video please be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel i have stretches on here if you love dance content anything dance related then come join the dance fam and once you have let's jump into this video So Apollo Performance was co-founded by three former dancers, which for me as someone who dances now and actually is a brand owner, I have my brand motion prep. I really love seeing dance brands that are founded, created, backed, and run by former dancers because I do think that's really important as far as knowing what dancers actually want, what we actually need, and what can actually make our performance better. So the Apollo Performance Shock is supposed to be a combination between a shoe and a sock to kind of give you the support of a shoe, but also so that you can have more of the silhouette of the sock look. So I ordered two different styles of the Apollo Performance Shock. I ordered the Infinite Shock and I ordered the Jewel. I will have both of the styles linked down below for you guys. And if you do purchase one of them, I do receive a small bit of compensation. So thank you for supporting me and my channel. The Infinite Shock is supposed to be Apollo Performance's take on a regular calf length sock. When you take it out of the packaging, it comes with a little card that kind of explains the different attributes of the socks and also it shows that there are different levels of support as you go through the different styles. It also has a sticker on the bag which says that it has been accepted by the American Podiatric Medical Association. Podiatric? Podiatric? Your feet. Immediately when you take it out the packaging, you can see that there is some compression action that's happening in the sock. So that kind of made me excited because I was like, ooh, I want to put these on. The first one that I tried was the Infinite Shock and I kind of danced around in the house a bit. I kind of walked around in them. I will say the first thing I noticed when I put them on is that I felt the compression in my arch immediately like even if i wasn't walking around or dancing and doing something just sitting i feel the compression action happening in the arch which i loved because i have a lower arch and since i haven't been dancing as much i can kind of feel them collapsing sometimes because i'm not using them as much since here in LA all the studios are still pretty much closed. So one way that I've been trying to solve that is by doing more foot exercises and that's actually what prompted me to do my ankle stretch and strength routine. So if you haven't checked that out I will have it linked up top and down below but sometimes I don't feel like doing that. Sometimes I want to just put something on to help and so I could definitely see these really working in my favor. I actually also liked that the compression action actually goes through the ankle as well so it's not just around the arch now when it comes to dancing in them i will say the infinite shocks they do have a breaking in time so for example when you buy point shoes you need time to break them in and really get them to mold to your foot same thing with these socks i do feel like they take some time and that is because of the padding the padding also has a level of compression to it as well and i do want to feel compression in my arch I do want to feel compression around my ankle for support, but I don't want it around my toes. I feel like my toes are a little, a little squished together, you know what I'm saying? Like a little too stuck together, and I can't really spread them out. For me, I just couldn't 
feel the floor enough and it was causing me to slip a little bit when I dance in these. Paw Performance does have an option where you can get the socks that have some kind of traction on the bottom of them. However, nowhere on the site, maybe I wasn't looking close enough, but I don't believe I saw anywhere on the site where they actually showed what that traction looks like. And for me, that's why I didn't purchase it because when I hear traction on a sock, I think of that like sticky rubbery stuff that's on the bottom of the socks that you would wear at like the bounce house, you know, and they make you purchase the socks and it has the little beady things on the bottom. And I hate those. I, <laughs> I really don't like those. So I preferred that the shocks I bought didn't have it, but if it's something different than that, I have no way of knowing. And so one thing I would advise them to do is maybe put some photos of that traction property on the on the website so I can see what it's like. I will say those problems are solved with the jewel shock that I have. So the jewel has the toes out and the heel out and for me that's like a happy medium. I still get the arch support and the ankle support but I don't have to deal with my toes feeling scrunched. I have to say this in the video but these also go perfect with my Burks because I hate wearing closed toe shoes. And so I get the support of sneakers, but I don't have to wear them. And I loved these. So I liked walking around in the house with them. I liked dancing with them on. I will say that I like the silhouette of the Infinite Shock better. It's just a cleaner line. But when it comes to like dancing around the house, I love the Jewel style. I also would say the Jewel is a really great option for dancers who like to dance in heels with socks on. So I don't, but I know some dancers do like to dance with socks. Maybe it helps with the slipping or maybe it helps prevent blisters. But with the Jewel, it's really nice because the toes are out. So with certain cuts of a shoe, you can't even see them. And also with the shock, you'll have that extra ankle support. So my my final thoughts on the Apollo Performance shock as far as who I think would benefit from them. I think anyone who has a problem with ankle rolling, these would be great. I love having the extra ankle support. So if you've had some really bad ankle sprains or twists in the past, or if you are currently recovering from one, I think this is a great option. The compression really helps to reduce inflammation, like it says, um, and it also just helps me to feel really supported when I am wearing them. If you are someone whose second toe is longer than your big toe, I would advise you to pick a shock style that doesn't have a toe part on it because the compression also is in the padding like I said before and I think that the reason why I don't enjoy the padding also is because I have very straight across toes like my toes are all the same length so I'm feeling the level of compression on my baby toe the same amount that I'm feeling it on my big toe and it's just I don't like it I don't like it I do think the shocks are a really good option if you are like me and you have lower arches. The arch support in these is honestly amazing. I love how supported I feel in them. They're great for walking around the house because I do like to walk around barefoot. That's just how I roll. So I like how supported my feet feel and I don't feel like my arches are dropping over time. Like I said before, if you do wear heels and you like to wear a sock with your heels, I think these are really, really great. And I also think they're great if you are, you know, trying to just strengthen your ankle support in a heel. If you feel still a little bit wobbly, maybe these shocks can help you kind of feel more supported as you're learning to dance in a heel more. And the last person I feel like who would really benefit from these would be people who just have bad feet. You know, people who are a little bit older and their feet just have issues. I feel like this would be really great for them because I do feel the compression action and the support happening even when I'm not dancing in them. Like I do feel it when I'm sitting in a chair or when I'm sitting at my desk which is really nice because I still feel the benefits of it even when I'm not walking around. So if you are more sedentary or if you work more of an office job but your feet start to bother you, these could be a really good option. And that is it you guys. Overall, I do like the shock. I will say I enjoy the jewel more than the infinite shock, but will I wear them both? Absolutely. I do feel like if you're a dancer or if you are an athletic person or if you just have a very mobile job where you're walking around and standing a lot, you deserve a nice pair of socks. And that doesn't mean that every single sock you wear has to exclusively be this brand, but I do feel like it's nice to have one or two of these 
in your drawers or in your closet just in case your feet are bothering you that day or you want to feel extra support. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like. And if you have tried out the Apollo shocks before or are thinking about trying them out, let me know down in the comments below. And I will see you guys in my next video next weekend. Later.